State of Texas building its own border wall is now front and center of Governor Greg Abbott's reelection campaign, but that idea was first floated by another Republican. Don Huffines, a former state senator from Dallas who recently announced he too is running against Abbott in next year's GOP primary. Senator Huffines, it's good to see you again. I, I want to start out with the uh, talk from the governor about wanting to build a state constructed border wall. If my memory serves correct, you proposed this idea first. Did Abbott steal your idea? Well, he certainly did. He really did. And, you know, this is my idea to secure the the border is just resonating so well with Republican voters, because not only do we want, do I want to finish Trump's wall or build a Texas wall, but I'm going to do whatever is necessary to secure our border because this is an invasion and I'm not going to be asking permission from the federal government to, to secure Texas's border. I can tell you real quickly what I am going to do to secure the border, because this is a battle against the cartels the most evil, violent criminal organizations on, on earth. And they're making hundreds of millions of dollars in human trafficking, no illegals cross that border without paying them, sex trafficking, drug smuggling, murders, rapes, you name it. I'm gonna, there's 25 crossings over the river that right. Texas has. I'm gonna close every single one of those in one day because I'm the actual Republican running and I'm actually gonna solve this problem once and for all. I'm gonna close those crossings down for all inbound commercial traffic from Mexico. We're gonna make Mexico acquiesce economically to secure their side of the river and stop these cartels. But wouldn't that hurt Texas businesses if you shut down commercial traffic? Yes, but in Texas, here's the thing. I'm going to communicate to Mexico, and they know it. They need us a lot more than we need them. And this is a proven tactic that can work, and it's going to work. We don't have an option. We have to secure Texas's border and stop these cartels and this invasion. And I'm not going to be asking permission from the federal government to do that. Well, let me ask you a question that, that uh, reporters asked to Governor Abbott the other day. Texas doesn't physically have any land on which to build uh, any physical barriers. How would the state get land? How would you get land to actually put a, a wall up or a fence up? Well, look, Texas does have condemnation authority, of course. Uh, we condemn for highways. Uh, first, we'll work with uh, landowners that want to cooperate. But the, this is not an option we have. These, these, we're going to have up to 2 million illegals in Texas this year that aren't supposed to be here. And it's to, the cost for Texas taxpayers is billions and billions of dollars every year. Education, health care, incarceration, law enforcement, you name it, I can go down the list. This is a huge burden on Texas taxpayers. Here's a question for you, Senator. Uh, Greg Abbott, as you probably know, has turned far right in the past few months, but he also has $40 million cash on hand in his campaign account, a two-time incumbent. Why did you decide to run against him? Well, it's really I, I, because the job, I don't need a job. The job's just not getting done. Look, Texans are smart, we, and Republicans are tired of being lied to. We're just tired of broken and empty promises. The border's not secure. Our property taxes keep going up and up. Our, we don't have confidence in our election. Look, I can go on and on. But the bottom line is that my opponent's a career politician, and 31 years in office, he's interested in his career. Senator Huffines, we appreciate the time. Thank you for having me, Jason.